you were talking about getting things into the main set of protocols. Oh, terrible. Absolutely garbage. The, the, the life cycle of a protocol, then you, you make a merge request, you get 10 comments, you solve them all, then you wait a year, and then you get mm -hmm. 10 more comments. Uh, and then after like maybe two years, the protocol either gets denied or gets suddenly some interest, probably mm -hmm. because someone like Valve paid someone like Simon Sir to maybe move his ass and actually do something about this, and then we get a new protocol. Yeah. Cool. Um, that I think that that was what, that's what actually happened with uh, with Terring. <laughs> actually, the protocol I think got merged because Simon got paid <laughs> by Valve. <laughs> For anyone um, unsure about who Simon Sir is, that is the guy who made Sway and, by extension, W.O. Roots as well. Oh, he maintains Sway. Yeah. Uh, Drew the Vault made Yeah, made sorry, Sway. yeah. Right. Yeah, Drew made it. Simon, yeah, yeah, maintains it now. Simon Good. maintains... He maintains Sway, he maintains W.O. Roots, and he is a member of Wayland Protocols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of the more active ones, actually. Right. There's some other people, I will not name names, are not very active, and only start being active when they want to say something, say why something is stupid. When they want to argue about something, not. yeah, I've... Going through, uh, looking at, like, doing videos on various, like, protocol uh, proposals, uh, yeah, I've certainly noticed a couple of names that show up just for the sake of why are you I, stupid? I don't understand you. If I've, I, I have, I, I know one guy that is trying currently to get a protocol for an app to list clients uh -huh. like running like r list top levels running on the system which would be useful for stuff like a screen share picker cuz currently oh. the uh, the hyperland in xdg desktop portal hyperland it uses a wl roots protocol to list the top level handles but mm -hmm. it's of course it's a wl roots protocol so the guy is trying to streamline it into ext and he got a couple comments, and it's been dragging on for like half a year now, probably. And and so, because the process, and I quote, was so onerous, I think that that's, that's what Daniel Stone said, um, Simon made a proposal to lax the requirements for the protocols in EXT, because previously, I mean currently still, they required two acknowledgements from different Wayland Perkles members. Mm -hmm. And so he said that because EXT is, you know, it's just extensions, so it's not kind of a core protocol, so it's like it doesn't really matter if there will be like lesser used protocols there. As mm -hmm. long as they have a use and they're, they're legitimate, make sense, you, uh, you should probably get them. So mm -hmm. he said that it should be one acknowledgement from a Wayland Perkles member. So for example, if all WL Roots compositors would benefit from it, then Simon could acknowledge it as mm -hmm. WL Roots uh, uh, maintainer, and one acknowledgement from like a third party project. So for example, me, as uh, right. for example, right? Because I maintain Hyperland, which is the best well compositor ever. Um, but continuing. Uh, it's certainly at least in the top. <laughs> yeah, it's in the top one. Top, uh, I was gonna say top three. I can't think of too many others I'd really care about. Um, <laughs> at least top three. I'll give you top three. I don't know what top one. Maybe when uh, maybe when things stabilize a little bit and you're not making changes every single hour. I mean, every single hour. I make changes every two hours. Anyways, uh, continuing. <laughs> yes. Um, he said that yeah, you should get one acknowledgement from a Wayland Protocols member and one acknowledgement from like a third party project, and then a guy whose name I have never seen, and I, I mean never uh -huh. seen that, just stormed in and said. Basically, in a very long paragraph, something like, why should we do this? Because what stops people from ma making a protocol for EXT kill the compositor and <laughs> merging it into Wayland Protocols? I'm like, brother, what the f What? I'm like, yeah, yeah, because a protocol called EXT uh, Crash Compositor is going to pass through one acknowledgement from the Wayland Protocols and the reviewer from Wayland Protocols that has to review both of the acknowledgements, review the protocol, and actually sign it. So, like, yeah, we're does, getting an EXT Crash the Compositor protocol. Does this person protocol. not realize that you can crash the compositor just using HTOP? Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, you, you can crash the compositor by just by just writing kill all. Yeah, you don't. Dash nine. You don't need like what? What is? <laughs> it's not yeah, like basically. you need to be a super user to crash something. Like what? What? Yeah, I mean, you you, you can crash GNOME by launching certain applications. Last time I checked. And let Let's um, just imagine for a second. Just imagine that protocol did exist, and for whatever reason, it passed. No one will implement it. Why does it matter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the first place, it won't pass, even if you relax those requirements, because nobody's going to acknowledge it. Mm. And further, he raised the point that, oh, what stops this? Not like we can knack uh, a protocol. Yeah, people can knack a protocol. People can not acknowledge a protocol. And that mm. kind of, like, blocks it from being merged. So, like, it takes one Wayland Protocols member to say, like, hey, guys, this is not a good idea. Mm. And, like, the protocol is kind of stopped in its tracks. So, like... The person appeared out of nowhere just mm. to say that it's bad to make this feel less like we need to go to Obama for a signed approval of our top-level info protocol because otherwise, it, it, yeah, it's probably not a good idea to merge it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, my experiences with Island protocols developers, I hate them all equally. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, I, I I hate Simon the most, but probably because he's the most active, because mm -hmm. all of them are the same types of assholes. Um, so, uh, the thing is, my my first encounter with... Okay, when it comes to issues, uh -huh. th they usually reply with something that makes sense. Right. And then they actually try to help, more or less, sometimes. I... Okay, once I had to wait a month for a response, but um, ignoring that, they mostly reply with something that makes sense, especially mm -hmm. in the Hyperland's early days. There were some things that were poorly documented, because mm -hmm. WLRoots has zero documentation, basically. It's just kind of like, figure it out yourself. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, uh, Wayland, uh, uh, WLRoots says, uh, WLRoots is documented by comments. Read them. And then you go into the code, there are no comments. Um, oh. So yeah, that, that's very funny. Uh, I remember there was a problem with Viewporter I had. Mm -hmm. It said to, uh, the, the only comment about implementing Viewporter was compositors need to update their logic and use this instead of this. Did this. It caused 10,000 issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the documentation on WRS is terrible. But I... It's kind of expected. It's not really a framework for many like people that really need to learn how the computer works mm. to use. It's kind of like this low-level library that kind of documents itself, I guess. But I guess you can read stuff like 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 Sway or or um or DWL mm. or Wayfire to just get a get a rough understanding of how things work. That's yep. that's how I learned W roots because I'm not reading the in code that, that they gave, it's just terrible. Uh, yeah, imagine reading 80,000 lines of code just to find something. I'm just gonna look at how yeah. Wayfire did it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look how Wayfire did it. Wayfire did it this way? Oh, I understand how this works. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. um, so, my experience, yeah, I had some issues, especially in the beginning, um, with things that were poorly commented. I sent them to the bug tracker. They helped a bit, and yeah, in the end, it, I managed to solve the issue like 90% on my, on my own. Um, but then I, yeah, then, um, I, I don't remember which one was first. Okay. Uh, so one of, one of them was first, one of them was, was second. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't remember, but, uh, one of them was me implementing the tearing support mm. in, uh, in W roots because W roots still doesn't support tearing. So when the tearing protocol got merged, I wrote an implementation for the tearing hint in WROOTS. It just mm -hmm. it just implemented the hint because the protocol technically was just a hint. Yeah. Um, the protocol doesn't didn't like say explicitly the compositor has to enable tearing or whatever. It's just a hint. It's just like kind of please tear me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I implemented this hint in WROOTS and I wrote I wrote an implementation in Hyperland for the for the compositor. Mm -hmm. And uh, after like eighty comments about the style. Which thanks W Roots devs for making a 200-line MD file about the style, not providing a Clang format file. 
Uh, so basically, you had to do manual formatting. Oh, Great. Yep. That sounds fun. Um, uh, so, to like 80 comments about the format and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Simon asked me a question like, how should this protocol be used? Mm -hmm. I'm like, the compositor can either ignore or not a request for an app to be torn, probably only when it's full screen and when it's the only surface that's showing. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, that was that, that makes sense. But I said that of course W Roots currently doesn't allow tearing. It it can't do tearing. Um, and so he was like, yeah. And, and I asked whether should the tearing implementation, like the actual tearing, be in this PR or should it be in the separate? And he said that he does he doesn't care. It, it can be either. Mm -hmm. And so I said, all right, cool. Um, I looked through the code. I tried a bunch of things, but I am not a graphical engineer or whatever, or a Linux engineer, mm -hmm. and I can't, I can't really figure out how to do tearing um, in W Roots. I, I, I generally don't know. I, I'm not really proficient with like low level KMS yep. stuff. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I tried this, this, and this, which was mostly uh, removing checks that prevented submitting more frames than the frame rate, and it just ended up making more errors. Yeah. Um, so obviously removing safety checks isn't really going to help here. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I just said that I tried this, this, and this. And do you have any pointers for me? That was the last message in this PR. It's been like eight months. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this was, yeah, and the, the PR is still open. Uh, mm -hmm. There was literally nothing more that has happened. So we still don't have tearing in W Roots. Great. Uh, then, I don't know if this was before or after, we have the global shortcuts debus thing, right? The portal. Yeah. The, yeah, in W Roots. Um, yeah, so um, because I, I'm still not really really keen on implementing it, I have other things to do because pretty much nothing still supports it. So it's like, mm -hmm. kinda, whatever. When OBS starts supporting it, I will implement it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Mumble is actually also working on implementing it. Oh, wow, okay. Um, but, so, I, I made a protocol proposal mm -hmm. to Hyperland Protocols for a protocol between the Hyperland desktop portal and Hyperland for the global shortcuts. Great, cool, amazing, wonderful. Uh, and someone stormed into the discussion and said, would I mind uh, sending this protocol over to EXT instead of Hyperland protocols for other people to also implement? And I was like, I don't know, my experiences with Wayland protocols are kind of mixed, but I'll join the, the WL Roots IRC and ask there. Mm -hmm. Joined, I asked. Two days later, conversation resumed on a completely unrelated topic. Nobody ever noticed my message. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great experience. Ten out of ten would recommend. I will not be sending this protocol to EXT. Is mm -hmm. uh, we already have like protocols in Hyperland protocols that because on Sway, like another annoying thing on Sway, you can only screen share your your monitor, right? On Sway, you can only screen. You cannot your share. Okay window yeah you yeah, cannot okay. screen share a region yeah I, i've definitely um, noticed this with um obs you window capture just yes. doesn't exist yes. you... on hyperland you can currently share a monitor or a window mm -hmm. uh region sharing is broken because wl roots implementation of the screen copy protocol is broken it's very broken um <laughs> And Hyperland uses the WRS implementation. There is an open PR currently in Hyperland for my own implementation of the screen copy protocol, which mm -hmm. fixes two issues. First of all, people not being able to screen share on scaled displays, which is also a W roots issue. Mm -hmm. And second, people not being able to screen share regions, which is also W roots issue. It fixes both of them, but it's still open because there is one thing that I still want to add there that there, there is no support for currently. Uh -huh. Um, but I will, I will probably get to it in like a couple days and, and just finish it. Cause, cause it's also really annoying on my, on my laptop. Cause mm -hmm. I can't record screen share anything on my laptop. Cause I scale the display and the W roots implementation just kind of breaks on scale displays. Okay. It's, it's unable to send a single frame basically. Ah, so the only useful. thing I can screen share is a window because my own implementation 
of the screen copy protocol, and by extension, the window copy protocol, mm -hmm. better, apparently. Uh, yeah, so like on Hyperland, you can currently screen share a monitor and a window, mm -hmm. but you will be able, able to screen to screen share also a region in like the following days, probably. Mm -hmm. 